Okay, the next thing to do is to uh, replace the carriage. Uh, this is on the uh, on this model three. This is this is this is quite an easy operation. And then the uh, on the model thirteen, uh, it's a uh, it's a different uh, a different matter altogether. Before I do that, I'll, I'm just going to illustrate some things, uh, point out some things that I didn't point out earlier, and that is that the the carriage runs on uh, rollers and uh, these uh, roller assemblies are just attached by two screws each here and here. I took those out and made sure that the rollers rotated properly put them back in. Uh, another important thing is this there's a little lever in there that engages with a looped spring that runs in the slot running all the way around the rotor uh, and this is the the mechanism you see it moving there uh, that um, it prevents the the uh, you from backing out of a turn part way through so I, so I've, if I start a backwards turn and then I go forwards, the the uh, the lever engages with the teeth on the rotor and stops it from turning the other way. So you have to keep going until the, uh, the turn is complete. And if you go the other way, the same thing happens on the other side. Now this uh, lever. Uh, should freely move on this shaft uh, and that took a hell of a lot of work wiggling it back and forth with the uh, lubricant before it actually moved um, absolutely freely which it has to do in order to work properly so that was uh, <laughs> that was quite difficult Anyway, having having sorted out all the bits that that ought to move, um, the uh, the next thing is the carriage. I've cleaned up the uh, the carriage uh, um, cover. Uh, believe it or not, all these all these white numbers were there under the filth, and they've come up quite nicely, and. Uh, yeah, that's uh, quite pleased with that. Anyway, the first thing to do is you uh, is is this fork has to engage with the upper of these uh, um, levers, the interlock lever, and the 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 lever that operates the bell should just sit on top of the uh, of the of the lever that operates the bell and it's just a simple matter of offering it up until it clicks into place and and it and it and it uh, should move back and forth and it clicks against the ratchet you release the ratchet with the uh, carriage release button on the side here. So, the first thing to do once that's in the right position and operating is put the uh, the um, carriage retaining bar back into position. And I'll just do. Uh, Put one of the screws in. Well, I might as well do, might as well do all three now. So, uh, and then the next uh, the next step will be to. Uh, engage, we'll put the base back on the machine 
and and this is uh, there's the carriage return spring, which is this one here. Uh, get that all in the right position, right? So, what we need to do here is turn the machine on its back. Uh, the carriage return. Well, before we do that, there's uh, this lever here. I'll try and zoom in a bit so you can see what's happening. This uh, lever here engages with the uh, with this rack on the um, on the carriage, and there's a spring which needs to be pushed round so that it's on this side. And then br bring the lever round and then hook the spring over there so that the spring pressure engages the lever with the rack. You wouldn't believe how many times it took me to get that uh, right. Uh, now the uh, the um, the uh, cover will go on that way so there's a peg on the end of the carriage here uh, oops, sorry I, you can't see that I'll move it to the side a bit and zoom out slightly there's a peg on the end of the carriage there slip the spring under that lever along there and then hook the end of the spring over over that peg and on the back of here there's a um, on the back there's a, a wheel which uh, this is this is the position it's going to fit and there's a peg there so what that needs to do is fit that on there and putting a bit of tension in the spring put it round that way so the so behind here the springs going round round the wheel and to that peg there in, in that uh, configuration and then offer the plate up now it won't fit because there's a uh, there's an arrangement here that in that interlocks with the oh it just, <laughs> it just clicked into place normally you have to give that a bit of a wiggle for it to do that but now everything's all clicked into place uh, the main thing to do what thing to do now is to uh, just get the uh, screws into the holes. You have, to, you have to fight against the spring pressure slightly, but uh, I've noticed in doing this that that screw there isn't an original. So uh, someone someone's been here before, and. Uh, also noticed um, doing this that uh, previous owner's name is uh, written on the bottom here. I don't know whether you can see that. Catriona Scott. So, Catriona Scott, whoever you are. I'm sure, or were. I'm. Uh, I hope you're pleased with what I'm doing with this machine. Right. So what we have now is um, we. Well, it should work completely because the um, uh, all I need to do is to put the side cover and the back cover and the top cover on, and we're done. 
So uh, carriage returns to the left, pushes to the right. So uh, well, what, well, before I before I do all, uh, uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll zoom out. Do that again. This carriage pushes to the left, and the carriage release push it to the back and it releases the carriage to the right um, and the lever under the handle single steps left and right but uh, I'll, uh, I'll save the, uh, the, uh, the demonstration uh, until um, got all the covers back on so I'll put all the covers back on 